Uploading and matching receipts. Let's say that you uh, saw how we did it in the mobile app where we took a picture of a receipt or we simply added an expense and we could attach a receipt later. Let's say you are past that point. You don't want to do that. You didn't do that when you had the chance and now you're back at your office. And in fact, on some levels, if you're like me, you prefer a good quality scan over the quality image that you get from a photo with your smartphone. So that's where you're going to want to know how to upload and match receipts and Expensify. You can take the scan, you can do it from your phone as well, but ultimately you're going to upload the receipts into Expensify, into a receipts area, and then you'll have the opportunity to match those receipts with the expenses that let's say you might have downloaded from your bank based on what we learned in the previous lesson. Come along with me and let's take a look and see what this looks like. Uploading receipts to Expensify. If you've ever browsed to a file before, then you know how to upload a receipt to Expensify. Okay. Lesson over, see you in the next section. Now I'm kidding, of course, but it is that simple to upload the receipt. Now, of course, this brings up a few questions. Why would I want to do this? What's the use case scenario, what have you? We've already covered uh, using your mobile app to take snapshots of receipts, and for many people, that's all they'll ever need. They won't ever get to this part. But, and I guess what this brings up is that a prerequisite for this lesson is that you have to be like me. So if you think you might be like me, then continue. If not, move on to another lesson or section. And I'm only half kidding about that because if you're like me, then I don't really love the quality of the scans that you get from a mobile app. And yes, it matters to me. I like having a nice, crisp image so that when I open it up and I look at it, it doesn't take me a second to decipher what's on that receipt and what information I need to get from that receipt in order to do what I have to do and move on. In the end, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time looking at receipts and trying to decipher what's on there and what it is and where it needs to go. I want it to happen in less than five seconds. Accordingly, I prefer to have an actual scan rather than a photo taken by your mobile app. So I'm more likely to uh, be wanting to... That's really not good English. I'm more likely going to take that receipt home with me and scan it rather than take a snapshot with my mobile app. The truth is, in most cases for me, it's no big deal. I walk out of a store, I've got the receipt, I put it in my pocket or in my wallet, I come back to my office, I take it out and put it on my desk, and usually I have a, I, not usually, I have a process where pretty much every Sunday I go through and scan all the receipts that I've taken home with me that week. And at that point, they can be matched up into Expensify. So let's see what this looks like. Um, obviously, you're going to go to the Upload Receipts section right here. Couldn't be easier. You click on this, and it's already going to uh, my Nerd Scans folder, which, as I explained in the write-up, you know, hopefully you have a, a location where you save all your scans, and hopefully you have a good naming convention for your scans. And I go over this in the write-up. So I'm going to uh, grab some Noah's Bagels receipts that I have. And let's say that I specifically know that I'm looking for the Noah's Bagels receipts because I need to get these in and I need to get them matched up with the expenses because I've also got the feed coming in from my bank account. So I know those Noah's Bagels expenses are there and I want to be able to get to it quickly. I don't want to have to spend time looking for anything, which is why I've taken the time to name things as detailed as I have. If I now sort this folder by name, I can go over Noah's Bagels. That kind of receipt is something I'm always going to put in a JPEG format. Um, because my scanner, I can get super high quality out of that, better than what I get out of a PDF. And again, it doesn't cost me that much extra, and it doesn't take me that much extra time, so it's worth it to me to do this. So let's get down to uh, my ends, and sure enough, here they are. And I'm going to select both Noah's Bagels receipts, because I have two expenses. And notice, the way I've named it, and I explained this in the write-up, I've got uh, two receipts from Noah's Bagels, one on the 29th, one on the 31st. And I don't even have to open the files. I have pretty much all the information I need right in the file name. Of course, I can open the file if I need to. So let's click open and let's get these receipts uploading. Notice up here it says uploading one receipt. Then it lets me know it's uploaded, then it's uploading the next one. So at this point I just have to wait. So these notifications pop up to let me know that something's happening, it's not just ignoring me. And I can choose close all. Now, the next thing you're going to want to know is where do I go to find these now that they've uploaded? Do I go to expenses? No, you're going to go to receipts if you want to see those receipts. Now the next thing that's going to happen is, as you can see here, it's smart scanning. And this goes back to what we covered in, I think it was the very first lesson, where we talked about smart scan with the mobile app. Well, it does the same thing when you upload receipts through the desktop or browser app. 
And so it's going to take a few minutes and it's going to scan and it's going to pull the information out of it, uh, namely the merchant name, the date of the transaction, and the amount of the transaction. There was one feature that I found very impressive as I was going through this particular area of Expensify in terms of adding and matching receipts. The receipts that wound up in the receipts area based on the smart scan, once I then downloaded the banking using the bank feeds, Expensify was smart enough to figure out on its own because it had already pulled out the merchant date and the amount of the transaction. It was able to figure out on its own which expenses in the downloaded expenses area went together with that receipt. So I didn't have to match it myself. It did the matching for me. This is smart. This is the kind of intelligence that we're looking for from an application like this. This is the kind of intelligence that Expensify provides us with, which once again makes our lives easier, streamlines processes, so we can move on from things like this and get into things that are more interesting or valuable to our business at large. Now this one I did a few minutes prior to recording uh, as a test just to make sure that I fully understood the behavior before I presented it to you. And because it says Max Chevron, it came up with a result that it didn't know what the merchant name was. So we're going to get into this a little bit deeper later on when we get into you know organizing and managing the receipts. But very quickly all I had to do was click on it and update it with the name and then save it. So it's that simple. So these are going to take a little while to scan. And the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to be able to match up the receipts with the expense. So as I mentioned, I have my bank feed coming in. So I have everything that uh, goes through my bank account coming into Expensify now. And if you've followed through sequentially all the lessons, then you know that I spoke earlier about the fact that if I'm going to do that, I'm going to disable the feeds uh, that are going directly from the bank into my QuickBooks file. So this way everything runs through Expensify and then gets from Expensify into the accounting software. This way I get the opportunity to use Expensify to organize and code all of my expenses and so on. So how do we do that? We're going to click over here on Expenses. And I love this. Of course you can sort by whatever criteria you want. Just click on a header. So I want to sort by merchant because I want to quickly find these Noah's Bagels receipts. And then under filters, or Noah's Bagels expense, expenses, I should say. And then let's just type Noah here in the filter. And that's about as much as I need to do. And it's going to find these receipts, uh, these expenses for me. All I have to do now is match them up. So let's go back over to receipts. Now I'm going to right click this and open it in a new tab. So I can have multi-tab browsing. I can have them both open. And we're going to see it's still say saying these are going to take a short while. So if I click in here and I want to save anything, it's going to stop the smart scan. So I'm going to wait until it's finished and then I'll continue the recording and I'll show you how we can finally get these receipts matched up with the corresponding expense. Okay, the smart scan's done. And let's see what expensive I did with them. You'll notice I've got my receipts in here. It also did sort them by date. Notice the most recent one, December 31st, is first. Then we've got December 30th, December 29th. So my first and third receipts here are the Noah's Bagels receipts that I had just uploaded. Notice it also got the complete name uh, on here as it appears on the receipt. Uh, it says Noah's Bagels number 216. Um, it's actually 2160 store number. So the problem is I don't want a store number on here at all because I want to just have Noah's Bagels. I don't need to know that I went to you know, store number 2160. And there are several Noah's Bagels stores here in Southern California. So I'm going to want to change that. But that's going to come up in the next lesson where we talk about receipt management and so on. For now, I just want to show you the final part here, which is how we marry the receipts and the expenses. If I come over to the expenses again uh, and I type Noah, then I've got Noah's Bagels, number 216. So it, it must have picked that name up actually previously or something. So if I click in here, now when you move your mouse over, each section can be edited individually here. So if I click this little pencil icon, then I can edit the date. Here I can edit the name and so on. So if you want to just edit the whole transaction, make sure you're on the left here. And then this pencil appears, you click it, and now it says detach receipt. So Guess what? Expensify matched it up for me. It was smart. It figured that out. I have an expense on the 29th for $15.98. I have a receipt on the 29th for $15.98. And the, uh, recipient, the name matches up. So that's where the number 216 came from. So we'll go into the settings eventually and change the name. And let's come here and check the other one. But uh, sure enough, it says detach receipt. So 
Guess what, folks? That's what Smart Scan does. It's smart scanning. So once I upload the receipts and I've got the feed coming in, it's done. I don't even have to match it. But just in case it didn't, and so you can see, over here, if it wasn't attached, this option here would say Attach Receipt. If I go over onto the receipt side, then over here, when I edit the receipt, I can detach the expense. If there wasn't an expense attached already, it would say attach expense. So this is what I mean when I, and I sort of jokingly said, Expensify goes both ways. I meant specifically that you can go both ways in terms of going from the receipt side to attach the expense or going from the expense side to attach the receipt. They were smart enough to put it in both places because they were smart enough to realize that, you know, depending on where the user's coming from and why they're here and what they happen to click on first, perhaps, they might need to uh, be able to approach it uh, one way or the other. And notice also it came in by fault as reimbursable. So we're going to want to uncheck that because this is actually in my bank feed. So nobody's getting reimbursed for it. And I can come over here and uncheck reimbursable on this one as well. <clears throat> so that's why it matched up, because it's in my bank feed here. And that, my friends, is about all I can tell you about uploading receipts and then matching up the expenses with those receipts. So uh, make sure that you understand everything, that you're clear. And when you're ready to move on to the next lesson, we will be talking about managing the receipts and expenses in the next lesson. Look forward to seeing you there. Now that we understand the process of uploading and matching receipts, we're going to want to go to the next step, which is learning how to organize and move these receipts around and do with them as we need to. And that's what the next lesson is going to be about.